This story began uh, seven years ago. One day, when I was dragging my weak body to the riverside, trying to have some water for lunch, I fell. Not just my body, but also my will. Crows were hanging on the sky. That made bright summer sky look darker. I used my last strength to keep my eyes open, hoping to find some miracle to come. And, of course, Miracle did come. I saw a boat slowly approaching me. A woman sat in a boat with beautiful white dress. She doesn't look like anything belong to this forest. There's no mud on her feet, no scar on her body. I wanted to look closer, but I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. The only thing I felt was her gentle touch on my cheek. Even a skinny man can become a warrior when a woman stands by him. Just like all other fairy tales, the fairy's love had healed my body. We have got two cats who guarded our home like dogs. We learned how to grow wheat and turn it into flour and then burn bread, which we call chocolate. We had lived the next seven years happily ever after. And today, our love has brought us here. Take care of the cats, take you to eat junk food at least once a month, or cook something else that tastes even better. I vow to, when you're watching TV, bring you the remote, drink, snack, blanket, cat, and anything else you ask me to. I vow to remember all our special days, your birthday, the day we met, the day we become couple, the day we brought home our first cat, the day she had baby which is the birthday of our second cat. And today, which is going to be our wedding anniversary. to disturb you when you're playing video games, not make you eat spicy food because that makes you spend more time in the toilet than me. I promise I will try to pay more attention and love you more than our cats. I will give you the chances to share with your muscles by letting you do all the heavy lifting. Last but not least, I vow to love you, care for you and stand by you in the health and sickness, through sorrow and success for all the days of my life.